Hey guys, it's Nate. And Sean. And uh, we're bringing you episode 7 of End of the Week. We have a special guest with us this week. Very special nice. guest. Oh, so I am special guest. Um, I am Yoko. <laughs> there was a Q. Or SMYN Yoko. I'm from the video game podcast Show Me Your News. Uh, we are at showmeyournews.com and all over the place on the internets. How are you guys doing today? It's been a while since I've been on End of the Week. Um, you know, Before all the craziness happened with the show but it's, i'm really glad to be back thanks for inviting me oh it's great to have you here and uh i really wanted to have you on like one of the first 10 episodes because like you said you've been on the show quite a few times mm-hmm. and uh i was just a big fan of show me your news way back in the day and i still listen to it now so oh, back uh, in the day back in the day yeah we've been around for four and that. a half years that's ridiculous that's mm-hmm. forever in internet Kudos time four and a half years is... yeah I'm insane, oh though, so it happens. I still, <laughs> I still remember uh, finally getting an iPod and listening to Show Me Your News. Being able to listen to Show Me Your News during my my internship, driving up to uh, courthouse. It was like a 45 minute drive, and uh, listening to it di- while chopping papers and stuff like that. So it's <laughs> probably good because those episodes are quite long, quite mm-hmm. long indeed. Well, that that was one of the reasons why I like Show Me Your News. Like, I, I I listen to a bunch of podcasts, and most of them are like twenty five minutes long, fifteen minutes long, forty five minutes long. So, yeah, forget that. We have no time. We just talk for hours and hours and hours. So, you know, by extension, this one's probably going to be your longest one yet. I apologize in advance. <laughs> um, like no, that's okay. Years. I'm actually I'm totally in the mood to talk. <laughs> okay, put your foot down right now. Arrow to the knee. <sighs> rate it. I hate that. Thank you. Oh man, uh, <laughs> it's funny what the uh, the internet latches onto and just turns into a meme. Mm-hmm. I remember the the day I got Skyrim. I'm just walking through White Run, and all of a sudden a guard turns to me. You know, I used to be an adventurer too. Then I took an arrow to the knee, and I'm just like, huh. Okay. Thank you, well, guard. I <laughs> I think I can go slay a dragon now. And then <laughs> yeah, I mean, of all the, the next week, it's all over the internet. <laughs> if Skyrim did a reasonable meme, it was the you know. Fusro da applied to all the different things, <laughs> like the baby panda sneezing to Fusro da. I mean, it's <laughs> like there, there's at least some you know cleverness behind that. But everyone's yeah. just like, I used to, I used to podcast, but then I took an arrow to the knee. Or I used to play video games. I used to, I used to be on end of the week, but then I took an arrow. To, like, <laughs> not, you're not funny. Come on, man, it's ridiculous. End of the week used to have a successful podcast, and then it took an arrow, no. took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> it's. I didn't even really notice it at first, like the the whole meme thing, until yeah. it got to like Kotaku and like <laughs> like video game news sites. Like I'm checking out news on like Sonic Generations, and somebody's like, "Oh, Sonic used to be a fun series," and then he took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> and then it went all over YouTube, and everyone put it as you know the the biggest thumbs up, and then it then it went off from there. And now it pops up on Google Instant. God forbid arrow Rebecca Black or Nyan Cat ever take an arrow to the knee. <laughs> I don't know. Nyan Cat might take an arrow to the Pop Tart, so <laughs> just a little bit different. I think we Next might have just invented it, the guard. greatest internet meme. <laughs> yeah, and perfect segue. There's I was trying to. I was trying to. I was trying to help you there. I'm sorry. I'm a little new to this. You, sir, are the well, consummate professional. Thank you. I try. It, I try. It seems like you have this podcast under control. Why don't you just go ahead and uh, keep the train rolling? I'm the guest, but okay. Um, <laughs> Just absorb it. Miyamoto talked. Oh, where was the source? It was some magazine somewhere. Let's just go with that. If you want to look it up, feel free to. Uh, Miyamoto basically talked about, in addition to saying, oh, yeah, you know, working on Pikmin 3 and all that, we did have the rumors a while back of, he's retiring. Oh, he's not retiring. He's coming back. Maybe he's doing smaller stuff now. But in this magazine does confirm that he is working on a unannounced project that is mm-hmm. brand new new ip so speculation away what could it be well i'm pretty good at guessing completely random things that turn out to be true for no reason so mm-hmm. i'm going to say that miyamoto had a really good bowl of soup and he's <laughs> going to have a game where you're swimming in chicken broth and you have to collect vegetables and there's also a princess Probably a cat. Just somewhere in there. There, there you go. That's it. That's the game. That sir is very inspired. No, it's not at <laughs> now all. Now, would but... you buy it? Uh, Miyamoto game? I'm pretty sure I have to. <laughs> Miyamoto's my wallet. 
<laughs> Gosh, I'm trying to remember the one thing. There was, you know, speculation a few months ago when it was like, oh, Miyamoto mentioned he's doing this. Is this a hint to his new... And I can't remember what that activity was. I, I Swimming was in the back of my mind. Master, Master Fossil's in <laughs> our live stream chat is saying swimming. So I think, yeah, swimming may have been it. But, like, if that happened, you know, Nintendo's already got Endless Ocean. Mm-hmm. So... I know it's well, not exactly swimming. Maybe he's thinking like Michael Phelps swimming. So <laughs> it'll be a way to lie, stomach, you know, face down on your Wii Fit board. There you go. Using the peripherals on Wii U carrying over for the moms. And then they can tell by the weight shifts how you're swimming. So you <laughs> don't have to get wet. This is a brand new thing. Stay dry in your own home. Use the. I mean, air is easier to swim in than water, right? <laughs> and no right? glasses. <laughs> and no glasses. There no glasses. But, uh, he's also stepping down. Maybe, uh, maybe there'll be a, a game about falling. Maybe uh, base jumping. <laughs> there you go. See, because that didn't already happen. Oh my god! You said falling, and I'm, I'm thinking like from a tall building, and then I'm like thinking Miyamoto's like. I am gone from Nintendo. My life is over. And I'm like, no, bad images. What are you doing? <laughs> no, see, I kind of picture that Miyamoto refuses to use conventional things like stairs or elevators. So he just like free jumps <laughs> to lower sections of the building. Well, and clearly then just he like teleports. Right now, to go back up. He just kind of like he teleports. Up. So he's, he's just better than us. He teleports like Star Trek. <laughs> I mean, that's just how it is. Whips out an ocarina, plays a little tune, and he works. <laughs> <laughs> exactly.